So now that we are able to view the reminder, uh, we should have the ability to add a new one as well as close uh, certain reminders if we feel, uh, I mean, if the user feels that you know it's the end for that particular lead. So <clears throat> we have you know, the form in two places. One is add reminder and one is reminder view, right? So, okay, uh, one thing which we can quickly do is um in reminder add so this is add remind um reminder view i will make this reminder add i was just going through the tabs and i realized that you know they are not consistent so we um, make that small change now when we are in add we only should see the save button but when we are in view we should see add new reminder and close so how do we do this when we are in view we will have the reminder id right so based on that we can put some logic so we will have a div and we if we have reminder dot id div v else so if we save right now, in the edit, we don't see the save button, okay? However, in here, we will continue to see the save button. Now, I can no longer work with a form because we will have different buttons. So why don't we do one thing? We get rid of the form, okay? And let's get it here, and we will do at the rate click handle submit. So this will continue to work in the same way. However, it is showing me some problem handle submit so this is a button at the right click what exactly is the problem i can't keep it empty is it no that's not the problem It's not telling me anything about what. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. So previously the form was the parent element. However, once we removed that, you know, it went for a toss. So now it should render properly. Right. So if we have the reminder ID, we will have two buttons. Button. Button. Button dot success it says add reminder and a next one which is close reminder a red button okay both will have different um, functions to handle handle add new reminder okay in this we will emit um okay so in this we do need to uh handle so yeah i will will say add new reminder okay and in this we don't need to uh we okay no we will send something uh the reminder because we need to close that reminder id so there are uh, three events one is hand handle submit which is save handle add new reminder handle close reminder okay this will say close reminder okay and every time we will pass the reminder that is for sure so this is done add click uh, handle Add new reminder 
and on this click we will have at the rate handle close reminder now the add reminder um, component right which is using this form it doesn't need to handle the rest of the events right i am sending three events from here render submit sorry reminder submit add new reminder and close reminder but in the lead reminder add we only handle one event in reminder view we this we can use for edit but right now we are not looking at that we will have handle add new reminder we'll get the post data and handle close reminder again we will get the post data so at the rate um the first one was add let me copy that i don't want to get something some typo in here so on add new reminder we handle add new reminder and close reminder until close reminders so these three functions are here we will console them to check and confirm that you now functions are being triggered properly okay this is handle close so with this let's test and see how things are i'll need to refresh and this is fine you know this is the add definitely don't expect anything in that form however in here we get two buttons one is close reminder and it is triggering the handle close reminder that is fine and this should be handle add reminder so this is done we are able to um, emit two different events or rather three different events from the three different uh, buttons in that component now we need to handle each and every one of them the save is already there so let's look at how do we handle add new reminder so inside reminder controller or rather first we create a route okay um we will call it let's say update okay so reminder controller update and create because we will be also creating one new reminder so reminder dot update this is done update and create request will be available so post data on update and create what we basically want to do is get the reminder id okay um complete that and redirect the user to the form okay where he can add a new reminder so in here we expect this dot validate reminder id reminder underscore id it is a required field it should exist in the reminders table and id okay so once we get that we will load the reminder which is reminder find post data reminder id we get the reminder we change the status is completed and we do reminder save okay this is the first step and then we load the lead because we need to redirect the user there right so um let's just see in reminder add we need the lead id so we got the lead id the lead so return redirect route um 
reminder add dollar lead okay let's be a little more explicit and say lead is lead so this part is done I think the only thing we need to handle is when this event is not the, this is emitted handle add reminder post data constant uh, data equals okay why don't we do data here and post data here so we are consistent and in data we need reminder underscore id will be data dot id right uh, we still have the consoles i think so handle add reminder yes so that's our uh, <clears throat> reminder id that we need to get this done so let's try that out um yeah this is saved so bring this down a bit and i do add reminder okay nothing happened that's strange oh i haven't written the code and i'm expecting it to work that's really nice in here we need to send it to our url reminder dot update send the post data save it refresh okay add new reminder now we will get lost in one scenario uh, because uh, okay um, i'll show you if i now hit lead details this is complete okay but okay yeah uh, and i can now add a new reminder so that thing is working this is the detail and i say add reminder i am adding a new one second so i have two again i can go here and say add new rem reminder i called up he said call me back tomorrow and let's set it to third save so this entire thing is coming as a sequence right so this is done however we need to handle the close as well we want that when we do close reminder it should ask us for a note a reason for closing the reminder and then it will just close everything and in here we will have everything as completed okay that's what we will do in our next video